Hi guys welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you, how to make an electronic soldering station with temperature display by 7 segment LED. The output temperature is controlled by the Atmega 8 microcontroller, providing more accurate and reliable temperature values than traditional soldering stations. The components used in the circuit are common types, they are available at electronic parts stores. You can also take advantage of old components in electronic circuits. The circuit is easy to work at first time, I believe you will love it. This is the heating state of the circuit. The LED will light continuously and the actual temperature value will be displayed on the 7 segment LED. When the actual temperature value is close to the set temperature value, the LED will flash. We will use rotary encoder to set the temperature for the soldering station, the setting value will be from 0 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius. I will guide you in detail on how to make a complete circuit after the sponsor's advertisement. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB. One fact about them, JLCPCB is the largest PCB prototype and supplier in China. With over 10,000 online orders per day. The product capacity is over 620,000 square meter, one layer or two layer PCB. Upload the Gerber files to get PCB with high quality and low price. The printed circuit of the circuit is designed on a single layer with the purpose of using plug-in components. You can download it in the description. This is the result after a week of ordering from JLCPCB. The printed circuit is very beautiful and solid. Here is the printed circuit after attaching most of the components. All non-polar capacitors are 50 volts and the value is 100 nanofarads. The supply voltage to the circuit is from 12 volts to 24 volts. When powering IC LM7805 will reduce the source voltage to 5V to provide at Mega 8 microcontroller and 7 segment LED. IC LM358 and 100 kilom potentiometer will amplify the signal from the temperature sensor in the soldering head and then send it to the microcontroller at Mega 8. MOSFET IRF3205 will control the current through the heater in the soldering head. On the circuit there are holes marked from 1 to 5 to connect to the soldering iron. After soldering all components, we need to power up and test before writing the Atmega 8 microcontroller connection to the circuit. The output voltage of the LM7805 should be 5 volts. The voltage at the power pin of the Atmega 8 and LM358 should also be 5 volts.
This is how I load the code for at Mega 8 microcontroller. First we have to choose the right microcontroller, then we will fuse bit, the value will be E2 and D9. Then we will load the code for the microcontroller, the download code is in the description of this video. This is a cheap hand solder with the name Quick 807A operating voltage 12 volts to 24 volts, capacity 40 watts. The connector is a 5-pin type marked from 1 to 5. The resistance value of the heater is about 12.6 ohm. The resistance value of the thermal sensor is 0 ohm. It takes about 30 seconds from power on until the temperature reaches 280 degrees Celsius, not fast but not too long. I showed you how to make a soldering station, thank you for watching my video, don't forget to like share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.